Happy Manna Monday. Welcome back to another installment of our Manna Monday devotional series. As always, I am eternally grateful to be here to be alive, but I'm also grateful that you have chosen time to, to take out of your busy schedule so that we can spend some time together as we spend time with God and delve into his word as is our model here. It's time to get our week started off in God. Our Meta Monday thought for today comes to us from Psalm 23, verses 3, and the because of verse, of verse 3, which reads, He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for the ways that you have shown up in our lives and the way that you continue to show up through your word. May this word that we are learning today transform us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So we are in our series in Psalm 23, delving deep into the wells of this psalm, really learning what it looks like for the Lord, for God to be our shepherd. Now we've, we've reached the point in verse three where David says, he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. So now this part has two implications. First, by virtue of saying he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness, that means there must be paths of unrighteousness that exist. And if you know anything about sheep, sheep are creatures of habit. So if they have blazed a certain trail, if they have grazed a certain uh, field, they will continue to blaze that trail, walk that trail, and graze that particular field until it becomes a wasteland, until that the trail that they've been blazing actually leads them to, to the wrong destination. They'll just keep doing the same thing that they've been doing. So it's up to the shepherd in his meticulous care of the sheep to make sure that when it's time to, 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 to put them on new paths, that he puts them on those new paths and leads them to the place of abundance, the place where they're going to get their water, their food, the place where they will be free from the fear of other prey and other bandits and all the like. All right. So in our spiritual lives, we have a shepherd who does the same, right? We, we, we talk about a, a, a righteousness and a God who is a God of righteousness, who has paths that he has carved out for us. The second implication is where it says for his name's sake. Now, that is a very, very, very important thing to remember because a lot of times we think that God is doing things for us because of our spiritual resume, because of what we have presented to God. And we feel like, well, now that I have presented this to him, now that he knows that the type of person I am, he is indebted to me to act on my behalf. But if we look through the canon of scripture, particularly Moses, we meet Moses, right? When he's leading the people of Israel and they are acting like fools and God is over it. And so Moses is like, I get it. Y'all, you know, people are stripping. They're getting on my nerves too. In fact, but you can't abandon them, God. Because remember, you set your covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And when, we were, when you were sending me to Egypt, you told me to tell them, that I am the I am. So if you abandon them now, these people will start talking about you. They're going to start talking cash crazy about how you can't sustain your word and you brought them out of uh, Egypt and you promised them this land flowing with milk and honey and then here we go in this desert just gone and abandoned. No God to care about us. So God, really, this is about you. It's not about the people. So I need you to remember your covenant and remember that you are doing this for your name's sake. So I want to, for you to keep in mind this week that you are a beneficiary of God's commitment to himself because God is a God again that we talked about who is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, rich in faithful love and mercy A God who has a, who calls himself the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God who came to David and said, I will have a somebody on your throne for eternity. The God who said, I am the truth, the way, and the life. The God who said, ask, seek, and not. The God who says, you have not because you ask not. All of that, he has chosen to make himself that God. He has chosen to stake his reputation on your well-being. So as you go about this week, as you go about this day, don't think about what you can do to show God that you deserve his blessings because you never will. And thank God that his commitment to you 
does not stake on your faithfulness because our faithfulness is a constant moving target because one day we like God, another day we don't like God. Another day, one day we have time to read our Bible, another day we don't have time to read our Bible. One day we want to pray, another day we don't want to pray. One day we, we love the Lord, another day we don't like the man. It, it goes up and down. It vacillates, our emotions vacillate, our feelings vacillate. So if God were to be committed to us based on our feelings and based on our emotion and based on our commitment to him, we would be doomed. But because we serve a shepherd, a God, a father who is committed to us because he is committed to himself, we cannot lose. So I want you to think about that this week. Thank God for being a shepherd who is committed to leading us onto path of righteousness for his name's sake. Because shepherds, their reputation is a big deal. Everybody knows what kind of shepherd you are based on how you take care of your sheep. So as you go about this week, as you interact with people, as you are in your prayer closet, as you meditate and you think about the problems that you're dealing with nowadays and in, in the season of your life that you're in, meditate on the fact that you have a shepherd who is, co who is committed to you and you are a beneficiary of his commitment to himself. This ministry has been a, a blessing to you. I pray that you would like it, share it, allow it to be a blessing to others. And if you'd like to donate to our ministry financially, you can do so in the ways that are on the screen. Our cash app being the easiest way, dollar sign, B E R E A N, 4555. And if you have any prayer requests, please leave them in the comment section and we will be praying for you. The prayer ministry team will be praying for you. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you. We want to take a moment to pause and not to ask you for anything, but let's just thank you for being a shepherd who is committed to himself so much that we get to benefit from your commitment to yourself. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for constantly guiding us and constantly veering us back onto the right path, being committed to us in a way that even when we choose to be lost and when we choose to go astray, that you pursue and bring us back onto the path of righteousness, not because of any good that we have, not because of any merit that we hold, but because you are committed to yourself. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God bless you.